pet. Have you come to kiss this child? I will not let you. Have you come to do it harm? I will not let you. I have made a potion to protect it from you. Out of garlic, which is bad for you. From honey, which is sweet for the living and bitter for the dead. Death in ancient Egypt was as much a business as it is today. And, of course, there was money to be made out of it. These women, for example, were professional mourners. And here they're training up their young apprentices to weep and wail and tear their hair. Archaeologists have also revealed sharp practice in the ancient Egyptian undertaking business. Mummies have been found stuffed with twigs and grass, even an old broom handle. But in any case, the ancients weren't all as confident in the afterlife as we may like to imagine. A blind harpist from 4,000 years ago warns us... Party while you can. Don't let up. Look, no man can ever take his goods with him. See, no one who goes ever comes back. Well, the great rulers have passed away. Their tombs have been robbed or rediscovered, their mummies unwrapped and the broom handles removed. The all-powerful pharaohs have been made public property. But perhaps the real immortality is to be found among ordinary men and women, living lives that have changed very little since the days of the pharaohs. Perhaps the hidden history of ancient Egypt has been here all along, under our noses. Ah!